I'm Bianca. And I'm Grant. And, and this, this is, is the Lake, Lake House Project. Hey everyone, so today we are gonna stop doing demo and actually build some stuff. Uh, we're going to be filling this hole where the staircase was, but before I do that, I wanna cut a new hole for where the new staircase will be. I'm not gonna cut the entire full size hole since that's still kind of being determined, but just enough in the middle uh, just to get up and down and then I'll enlarge it when we get to that point. So I just picked up a new circular saw. I've been wanting one of these for a while. This is the DeWalt All Electric one. Super nice and very powerful. So I'll use that to cut this hole. Then I picked up some joist hangers and some Simpson Strong Tie Structural Screws to hang some new joists going this direction across. And then I'll, I've also bought some new subfloor plywood to lay on top of that. And then once that's installed, we can start raising up this floor. So let's get started. Using the new circular saw, I cut a hole right in between two floor joists just wide enough for me to get up and down. And if you can't get enough of this DIY content, we also have a TikTok and Instagram at Golden Key Design for more real-time updates. Now back to the video. It works. A little tight, but it'll do. Alright, so I cut my joist to size and then I added these kind of wings on the sides which will support it off of the floor and I made sure to add the thickness of the subfloor in here so that it went down to the right depth. So hopefully this works out, I'll try it again. But this is so that you can do it with one person only. If I had another person, it'd be a lot easier. Here we go. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna line it up that it is 16 inches off center from this board. And then I will take my joist hangers from the basement and screw those in. And I got one joist and three more to go. Let's do it. And these wings come in really handy because it supports the board, but also I can adjust the height of the board here using these screws to make sure it's perfectly level. Then it's on to attaching those joist hangers. Installing that first joist. These wings worked pretty well, and I just put in the joist hangers on either side so now I can take out these wings and I can use these for the next joist. Nice and solid. Do I trust my work? Yes. <laughs> so, lined it up nicely too. So, he's got three more, and then we'll put some subfloor on top. Let's do it! If you guys are enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like, as it definitely helps the YouTube algorithm and allows me to reach a bigger audience. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We have new DIY videos every single Saturday, and you'll be able to stay up to date on our progress on this lake house. We got lots more content coming your way, so stay tuned. I had to trim this board down a little bit extra, but eventually got it to fit. All right, looks good. And here's an example of the lengths I go to to get good shots for you guys. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know in the comments. Now onto adding that subfloor on top.
right, so I'm gonna put down some subfloor adhesive. This is liquid nails for a subfloor atop, atop of the joists, and then put the plywood in place, and then screw it in, and then this project, at least this small project, is done. Let's get to it. The combination of the subboard adhesive in addition to all the screws really makes it a super solid surface. Oh, squeaks! And so that wraps up this week's project, and next week, get excited because we are finally raising the floor. This is a huge undertaking, uh, but I think we can accomplish it, so stay tuned and find out next week. And as always, thanks for watching, and happy building. See you next week.